sur le bord d'un cadeau formulant, express the energy loss at the Sudan flow expansion. It assume in first approximation that the total energy loss equals the kinetic energy loss. The formula is named after the French scientist Jean-Charles de Borda and Lazare Carnot. Jean-Charles de Borda was a French mathematician and a military engineer. He played a role during the US War of Independence and was very active during the French Revolution. Lazare Carnot was a French military engineer, mathematician, general and statesman who played a leading role during the French Revolution. His eldest son, Sadi Cano, was a French scientist on work on steam engine, describing the Cano cycle relating to the theory of heat engine. Let us consider a sudden flow expansion, as sketched here. The kinetic energy loss are form losses on equal to V1 square over 2G minus V2 square over 2G, where V1 is the inflow velocity and V2 is the outflow velocity. Combining with the continuity equation, the borda cano formula can be derived in terms of the total head loss, in which K is a head loss coefficient, function of the ratio of the cross-section area. When the ratio of the cross-section area is close to 1, K equals 1. The borda cano formula may be applied to a fluvial motion in an open channel past a negative step in a wide rectangular channel. The basic equations are the conservation of mass and of energy, in which the upstream and downstream total head may be expressed using the downstream channel invert as datum. For a relatively small step, when k equals 1, the continuity on energy equation give a cubic equation in terms of the downstream water depth when the upstream flow conditions are known. At the limit, when the ratio of h over d1 with h a step height is very small, the total head may be simplified in an expression which may be used, for example, to predict the form drag generated by two-dimensional bed forms. Note that the above development was based upon the assumption of a fluvial inflow motion with a super critical inflow. The flow pattern may be substantially different depending upon the inflow and tailwater water condition and could include hydraulic jump, standing wave, and shock wave. Finally, the names of both Jean-Charles de Borda and Lazar Cano are engraved in the borders of the facade of the Eiffel Tower. The Borda Cardo formula is a simple application of the basic principle of fluid mechanics on their application to hydraulic engineering. They are discussed in a number of relevant YouTube video movies in the same playlist.